probably a better idea to squeeze through this way. It's a perfect day for a hike, deep into the woods. A canopy of trees insulates the constant buzz of wildlife, seemingly creating a two-track trail of tranquility. I've been coming out here for 30 years. But through the bramble, not far off the path. You can see like the stones from the foundation. Remnants. That's an old hasp off a barn door. Many believe they're connected to something far from tranquil. This site here is where the house stood. The lore of what happened. The death of children, the idea of witchcraft. Has transcended generations. People get angry when you talk about it. It's the terrifying tale. So grows the legend, right? Of Seven Gables Road. That's the most haunted road in Michigan. The myth lurks in the dark shadows of Dansville, a dead end off Dexter Trail. You kind of have to go through this tunnel of trees. A broken, bumpy passage that surrenders to this dirt road where there's just 5,000 acres of nothing. Except for this. There's really just this one way in. Rusty, wrought iron, padlocked. I think it's creepy. Legend states the gate is a threshold separating safety. If you cross the gate, bad things will happen. From the evil presence that lies beyond. Once there was a witch that lived in a cottage back in the woods. Armed men trapped her and set the house on fire. Before she burned to death, she cursed the land to make it uninhabitable. If you were on the other side of the gate, so you're exploring her land and you hear a woman scream, the last person back over the gate will be dead within three days. Years would pass. The curse did not. This family built a house. They moved in, the father started to kind of go a little crazy, and then one night he killed his whole family, hung them all from the gables of the house. Then hung himself from what's known as the hanging tree. It's a little much to just try to discount. Present day thrill seekers who dare pass the gate. I was camping. Return with countless unexplained. It was dead quiet. And disturbing experiences. We heard what I would call a scream. Uh, and it sounded like a woman's scream to me. Never saw anything. Welcome to Seven Gables Road. Some caught on tape. What was that? A very visible mist type figure. What was that? And I saw it that night, not just on the camera, but I saw it with my eyes as it ran by. Late one night. Super dark. I'm the type of person that seeks out answers. Paranormal investigators Gary Gerke. I see spirits. And Cat Ryan were lured by the lore. See if anything happens to make its presence known. Each step disrupting the deafening silence. The deeper we go in, the more I get a icky feeling. Mm -hmm. It didn't take long. There's two shadow people. They're like standing in the middle of the path. Mm -hmm facing us. Actually. We get to go back that way. Onward. All right, here's your tree. Until they reached the hanging tree. You can see where there's a big broken limb. Until that limb broke off that tree, we would never get a pitcher to turn out. And then every time we have been back since, we've taken pictures of that tree and they have turned out. Speaking of pictures. Caught some orbs on camera. Anomalies. Like it's made of light, but then it disappears in full color. Well, I can guarantee you this much, if we hear it again, I won't be the last person over that gate. Is it urban legend? I have not found anything to prove that anything of that nature happened out here. Or true. I know what I heard. There is one certainty. Everybody's got a story about Seven Gables. Especially if they decide to test fate last one over first to die beyond the gate this road is absolutely haunted absolutely <laughs>